There are more people in China learning English than there are native English speakers in England. True or false? I'm not sure, but either way, kind of crazy, huh? That one thing is just one example of so many little nuggets so often thrown around that aim to show how many people are learning English worldwide. Generally, that English they're learning may be American English or British English. Let's not even get into how many different accents and dialects both of those terms could refer to. Students may even want to focus on Australian, Canadian, New Zealand, South African or Irish English. Whew, already we've talked about six different varieties of English. Of course, a focus on a particular variety, dialect or accent can really help when learning a language especially with something like English with so much variety. But what about when English is taught in a place so much due to historical, economic or other reasons that that place develops its own variety of English? Is that English substandard to British or American English? Is it any less valuable or worthy? Of course not. Through many years of English being part of society in many parts around the world, varieties such as Singlish in Singapore or Jamaican English in Jamaica have just become their own varieties of English and they are just as important as British English or American English. When people learn a language to whatever level, those words then become something that they have the right to mould and shape as they use them alongside their knowledge from their own native tongue. Or tongues. If the message is understood and someone can communicate effectively, then this is not incorrect English. This is not incorrect language. This is just a variety of English. And that moulding and shaping that English learners around the world have the right to do with English is now shaping those bigger varieties of English. And why shouldn't it? English is something that these learners may use daily, perhaps even more so than their native language. It's as much theirs as it is mine. Hey, maybe you're watching this and you're learning English. If so, then I'm talking to you. English is as much yours as it is mine. Use it, play with it, enjoy it. Who am I to stop you? As long as I can use, play with and enjoy the languages I want to learn too, right? So do varieties of English matter? Yes, varieties, accents, dialects of English, or any language for that matter, are all as valid as each other. It all matters. There's a well-known expression that comes to mind here. A language is just a dialect with an army and a navy. So go forth and speak your English with pride. What do you think? Do varieties of English matter? Are they just as important as the standard? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to Lindsay Does Languages here on YouTube for regular language videos. See you soon. Bye.